I'm Liz Casanova with That Nerd Show. We're here at DIFF 2019, and you are representing Francis Ferguson. So tell me, I saw a clip, a clip of the film and an interview you did at South by, oh, yeah. and it looked pretty interesting. So tell me, sure. I think you know which I think clip I do. I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. So tell me about the film. Sure. Um, it's about a substitute teacher who has an affair with a student, so it's, you know, that's interesting to start off with. Um, and it's Bob Byington's, uh, he mm -hmm. makes comedies, so it's it's this very dry, yeah. hopefully witty comedy about that situation, more about her trying to reacclimate to normal life after going to prison yeah. for that relationship. So. so you got to act with a lot of really funny people. Yes. Tell me about working with Nick and Martin Starr and... <laughs> yes. Um, Nick did the voiceover, so we, we were in the room one time doing voiceover together, but yeah, he's amazing, yeah. obviously. Um, and David Krumholtz was my uh, counselor in the scenes later on, and he's just phenomenal, like just unbelievably talented. He just raises everybody who's in the room with him. Um, and Martin is hilarious and wonderful. I laugh every time I watch his scene. Um, yeah, and Keith, my, who plays the husband, Keith Colson, uh, he's lovely as well. And he's like a, just such a joy to have on set and so talented. So yeah, it was, it was just a, a whirlwind of great, talented people. So when you first got the script, mm -hmm. I mean, what did you what did you think of it? Because it's such yeah. a, you know, you, you say it's a dry comedy, but yeah. it's such an interesting kind of subject weird subject. That, yeah, totally. <laughs> um, well, we'd, we'd actually started by making a short that was about a totally different situation. Mm -hmm. And then Bob read an article in the uh, New York Post about a teacher having an affair with a student. And she was like, young. And he was like, this is weird. And then we were like noticing there are articles about it all the time. So he was like, let's move that character into this environment. And he was just like, it's kind of, there's something about it that's intriguing. Um, but I was like a little bit like, I don't know how we're going to make this like, funny. I don't know how people are not going to like absolutely just hate her from the get go. Yeah. So that was like something I was kind of worried about, but he has such a distinct style that he can kind of make it work with whatever. How did you feel about her reading At the script? At first I was like, <laughs> this girl, <laughs> this girl. And I mean, I still am like bad choices, but yeah. like, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit like, I love her, you know, in yeah. a weird way where you might love like you can't make fun of my sibling or something like that. You know, I feel like a little bit protective of her, but yeah. I Real guess. quick, you're yeah. on the show High Women. Yes. Tell me about working with those amazing sure. stars. That was crazy. They were so great, so talented. Um, the whole crew was amazing and the story is really historic and they were just so specific to all the details mm -hmm. um, and working with Woody. He was. My dad in the film, he was, um, he's, aw he's awesome. He's just like, they have such a gravity that you just sense it when you're in the scene with them and they make you better just by being so good. Well, we have one nerdy question for you. Okay. So in the nerd universe, yes. if you had a choice between a superpower or a weapon, any weapon of choice, to defeat the forces of evil, what would you pick? i pick a superpower. Do I have to say which? Yeah. We, we definitely want to know now. Yes. Um, okay, all right, all right. I think, you know, I think being able to lift things with your mind would be really, really great. Yeah. That's what I'd You pick. watched the, G the Dark Phoenix trailer today, didn't you? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty sweet power. Yeah. yeah. And Can't then nobody knows you did it because you're like, mm. I the wind is crazy today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thanks thank so you. much. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.